in chapter two, we looked at the difference between secure element and host card emulation technologies. In chapter three, now we consider the bank perspective and the things that they need to think about when looking at these technologies. So, Herve, we discussed the differences between secure element and host card emulation. So, um, from the bank perspective, is it security that's the main issue for them? I don't know if it's the main issue for them, but this is definitely uh, a key, um, let's say, difference between, uh, between the two technologies. So uh, this is the, the main uh, topic um, to take into consideration to make the choice between one technology or the other. Right. And when banks are considering, I mean, there's so many options with all the technologies, when they're looking at all their options, what are the key questions that they should ask themselves? The question is, um, will I do it myself or will I buy it from another player, another partner? So in other words, uh, for instance, if you choose um, to deploy um, an NFC application, then you will have to put some mechanism uh, in place to distribute, so to deploy the application, but also to manage the, the transaction and to manage the uh, life cycle of the application. So the question is, do I do it myself? So it's it's a, it's a job. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and second, uh, this has a cost. So the question is, uh, will I mutualize uh, this cost, so share the cost with mm -hmm. someone else? So um, the question is, do I will do it myself mm -hmm. or with a partner? So you, you said one of the, the main qu questions that banks have to ask themselves is whether to do it themselves or get a third party to do it. So what are the pitfalls? of getting someone else to do it and wh what needs to be considered? It's um, then again we have to, 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 to find um, something that is well balanced so where everybody will have a role to play and, and will uh, get uh, a part of the cake at the end so it means that uh, uh, this has to be uh, a win-win ecosystem. Okay, and then what about the pitfalls of doing it yourself with the, with the HCE model? You will have to reinvent everything that has been done before. Uh, so meaning you will have to uh, reinvent uh, the, uh, the infrastructure to be put in place. You will have to uh, go through new um, certification process, uh, interoperability issue. So I would recommend at, uh, at, at, at the moment to reconsider uh, the option of uh, using the secure element, even if this secure element is controlled by, uh, managed by someone else, because it's simpler. Um, infrastructure is already in place, you just have to use it. And is there a difference whether it's a low value transactions or high value transactions? Definitely yes, uh, because um, as I mentioned, HE uh, could be uh, let's say, a very good option for uh, replacing uh, low value uh, transaction or application. Uh, but uh, as soon as you are um, looking to um, higher value transaction, then secure element is uh, mandatory. But even with a low value transaction, you could be in a situation where you will need uh, an hybrid approach, so something in between, because you will start with uh, HE using uh, the tokenization, for instance, but as soon as you will um, need to download uh, some tokens, then a strong authentication could be required. And this is definitely uh, a, a role to play for the, uh, for the secure element. And what about regional differences? Is, is that a, a factor? Yeah, there are some, uh, some differences. Um, for instance, for the uh, 
for the presence of the different players or the wage or the, uh, the fragmentation of the, of the market, there are some uh, differences. But um, we hope that uh, uh, countries will learn uh, best practices from the other and then in the future that uh, this difference between the, the different regions will, will be less and less important. <laughs>